Good morning everybody, it is Monday 30th, me and Chris are going on holiday, oh my goodness. We are so like not prepared for this, the alarm went off this morning and we were like, eh, let's just lay in bed for an hour and then we were like, oh actually Chris has to tidy up the entire house because his parents are away and they come back on the same day that we do, so that's fun. We are, I'm more or less done, I think I'm done. Bet I've forgotten something, but I think I'm done. Suitcase is packed, that's my stuff and Chris's stuff. Chris has, you know, stuffed most of his things in his uh, bag. I don't, I want to say he's packed more clothes than me, to be honest. Because I've only packed two outfits in there. It's the shoes and the toiletries that are taking up loads of space. And I know for a fact that the only toiletries Chris has really brought are like, a toothbrush, deodorant, and then a hairbrush. So, there's all of my skincare bits that always takes up all the space. Right, I put passports in. Yeah. So, I'm gonna talk about where we're going today because I haven't even mentioned it yet, and now is the time for the reveal. Me and Chris. Okay, let me do, let me, let me do the story. So, New Year's Eve, for me and Chris, has always been very anticlimactic like we never do anything exciting off this is our fourth new year together our first one was nice like we had a nice new year but it was like really stressful and frustrating to organize because there was a lot of friendship drama going on our second new year i basically spent the whole evening on my own chris came over like 10 minutes before midnight to spend midnight with me but i pretty much spent the evening chilling with my cat so that was a bit sad and the following year, I was like, let's just do a fun couple's New Year's. Let's go out for dinner and get drunk and then go home and play board games or something. Look, drunk board games. That sounds fun, right? I was having fun. Chris, like, clearly wanted to be somewhere else. <laughs> and I felt really bad. But New Year's, I think, is one of those things that you build up to be something exciting in your head and then it happens and you're just like, oh, it's actually actually not very exciting is it it's not that interesting but this year we're going into 2020 we're going into the end of a decade you know it's a bit more it's a bit of a bigger deal than just you know 2018 into 2019 this is you know a whole new decade we're entering into so we decided we wanted to go away to you know make make new year's interesting because we're very bad at making it interesting so we have a lot of places we want to visit and we found realised that most of the um, places we want to go to are like city breaks in Europe. And we kind of looked around a lot of city breaks and this one was the cheapest one. <laughs> right, so we are going to Vienna in Austria. My parents visited earlier this year, they said it was really, really lovely. We've not done as much research as we really should have done, but the research that we have done, it's a really beautiful city. Um, and then they've got, you know, the classic fireworks celebrations at midnight in the in the town square, the city square. It's a city, Vienna. And yeah, it's... we're really looking forward to it. Neither of us have ever been before. And neither of us have ever been away for New Year's, or at least I've never been away for New Year's. I don't think Chris has ever been abroad for New Year's, at least. Um, so I'm really excited. This is the first time ex I'm experiencing New Year's Eve in a different time zone. So that's exciting. Yeah. I get to celebrate New Year an hour earlier. So that is where we are going today. We are leaving in about 10, 15 minutes to go pick up Chris from his house and then we're heading straight to the airport. I think everything's ready. I think. I'm gonna go spend my last like 15 minutes at home with my cat because I always miss her most when I'm away, which I'm told is harsh. But I can text my parents or my sister if I'm missing them. I can't text my cat. You know, that's just, that is just how it works. I'm sorry if that offends anyone. We're at the airport. Made it just about. Said goodbye to my kitten. And then my mother took us. Second floor. And now we're here. Chris has got the bag. I'm trusting you. Ooh. One of the wheels are broken. All of the suitcases in my house are broken. Good. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Is it the one you took to Canada? Yep, Where the one I took to Canada. Yep. That's uh, a nice Yep. All suitcases in my house are broken. This is the best one. It's great. It's great. 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 
let's go put our bag in. We're at Nando's. Chris is in his element. This is like the best part of the holiday, I guess. Yeah, he's already said multiple times, it doesn't matter if we miss the flight, as long as we get the Nando's. That's where his priorities lie. So, just ordered. There is a kit on the table. Have yeah, you noticed? Oh no, never mind. It works a bit He's 11, he's like wearing a work uniform and talking on the phone about going to work. I don't know if we're secretly on like a prank show or something, but it's weird. Food's arrived and we've concluded we've definitely been on a prank show. He like got up to go order food, which is when I got glassed. And then his meal came before us and it was put on our table. And then he was like, oh yeah, sorry, I think that's mine. Like trying to engage in conversation, we were just like, oh, there you go. And then he kind of just sat next to us all quickly, ate his food and he's left it half bloody empty and got up and left. It's suspicious. It's like an 11 year old in like a polo shirt in a lanyard pretending to have a job. There's no way it's real. He was blatantly trying to get us to engage in some kind of conversation. It was weird. What's your opinion? Going to the gate. That's a good idea. I don't know what else to say. That was really descriptive. I don't know what else to oh, say. Oh, I thought you ended it there. No. Going to the gate. Going to the gate. We're in Vienna. <laughs> It's all very exciting. I wonder how many people will be on half one. Can't see the screen that's blurred. than it is because it's really dark. It's only like six o'clock. You good? Yeah. It's okay, it's broken already. You can break uh, it more and it won't matter. I feel like the uh, I feel like the wheel's just gonna come off. That's fine. I'm not gonna know if it's just gonna leave it behind. That's fine. We're gonna get new ones soon. I hope. Made it we did it is Super pretty. Let me do let me do the classic hotel room tour. There's Chris Hello. putting his jacket away. It is very chilly outside. We have this thing that looks like a door, but is not a door. And it's got slippers and hangers in it. This is in Oh yeah. Well that's just that's normal. That's in case you want a conjoining room. This is literally just something that looks like a door but isn't a door. This is a toilet. Oh, did you turn the toilet light on? I think it turns on when we that. Oh, I see. Yeah, we couldn't figure out how to turn the lights on the funny light switches. <laughs> Old wardrobe. Staring at it for like 30 seconds. I thought you'd already tried them. I just oh, assumed. Okay, you know, the bag. Oh, excuses, excuses, staring. excuses. 
All right, and then we've got the bath. It's a, it's you know, open concept, you know. Yeah. So. I had a room. No, me neither. This is the shower. Let's go straight into the bedroom. Nice though. I might have a shower at half six this morning, tomorrow morning, and uh, yeah. See what Georgia thinks of that. Yeah. Thanks. Like, it's a nice sink area though. Look, look at all these lovely like soaps and stuff. They're well, they're like proper size. They're not like hotel ones. Crazy. And then we have got a gorgeous massive bed. And then that's a fridge, which we have opened. It's like a suitcase. Oh god. It does that. Is that what, what is this? Wine. <laughs> Obviously, costing money. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll have to try some. Well, the beer in Big Berlin TV. is unreal. I'm not right. a beer fan. And then this is the view from our window. Isn't that gorgeous? It's all Christmassy and lovely. It's pretty. Well, look how nice this hotel is. No? There was a celebrity staying at our hotel when we were in Vancouver. Oh, Lennon Stella. She was not in Orange New York, she's a singer. And she wasn't staying in our hotel. She was just in Vancouver at the same time as us. She was like two hotels down there, wasn't she? I don't know. She's a picture, it's like exactly the same as our view from our. Yeah. Anyways. Who do you think is staying here at the same time? I don't know. There are a lot of old people downstairs dressed in very like classic 40s, 50s outfits. Yeah, Vienna's known for lots of proms and balls. Yes, so I knew that. The, and operas. And operas. My mother warned me that there will be people dressed up trying to get us to go to the opera. Um, yeah, we made it. We're going to kind of have a slowish evening. We need to go find food. Because I'm hungry. Since it's all Nando's. Oh, I, can get my I mean, if you can find it, we need to do some googling. All right, we're gonna go out for a walk to find some food. Got my scarf on. Got this for Christmas. Oh, your toothbrush is on the bed. Let me put that there for me. Chris is. We've kind of tried searching on Google and not really found very much. So we're gonna have an explore. I think I saw like a sort of garden place. It's like a sort of massive garden that has like uh, loads of stools nearby. Okay. So hopefully. Let's head towards that and we'll see what we see. Yeah, the stools are seasonal though. Well, we'll have a look. Could be a Christmas market. Still going. Ah! Oh, I'm sleepy. Travel always makes me tired. Even when it's like we're only an hour ahead. Completely check that. Yeah. It's too much for me, Chris. We think we found the stools. It's all looking very Christmassy and festive. I'm excited about it. That's so cool. Oh, he's got his shot. He's off. Oh, there's a car there. Wow. A woman playing, it's Hansel and Gretel though. <laughs> Look at that! No idea what we're walking down right now. But it's pretty. We found the cathedral. It is huge. Still haven't found food yet. We were wondering. We've passed like four restaurants that look really good. Uh, well, I said I didn't want a restaurant, didn't no. I? I said I wanted a like... Pizza and grill down there. What's a restaurant? I don't... I was well, it's thinking like a pizza of... pizza kebab, so it won't be very posh. Well, no, uh, I guess. Okay. I just don't want, I don't want to eat that much, so I was looking for more like a hot dog from a hot dog stand or something. Yeah, okay. But, well, the one I found you didn't like. Which one's that? The pretzel one. Oh, yeah. well, I don't like pretzels. Not because I didn't like the restaurant. Okay. What about that worst thing you saw? Uh, let's just wander. Let's just keep wandering. I'm fine. 
course has led my strike to this glorious building. No idea what it is, so. So what's this building, Chris? No idea. Oh. I expected you to have some words of wisdom for me. Wow. My phone's ringing. Oh, my alarm went off. are burning from the temperature change. So what turned into kind of a, a quest for food kind of just became a casual stroll. And it's, oh, yeah, it's so pretty. Like, so pretty. Every corner we turned around, there were the gorgeous Christmas light displays. Or like we were suddenly in like the square of a palace or something. <laughs> it's really pretty. And then we eventually get, came across a hot dog stand. And the man was really nice to us. Yeah, it was pretty good. That was a good hot dog as well. And we got a bratwurst. Classic. Now, I'm going to end the vlog here so that I can edit. My nose is on fire right now. Ugh. Blech. What was that? <laughs> right, let's end the vlog. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, when you're watching this, it'll be New Year's Eve. Happy New Year! If you're watching this tomorrow, which you're probably not, because you'll be out partying. Happy New Year anyway! Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.